Hi there and welcome. This is Barb Pask. I'm going to paint some poppies today. i um, been looking around. I don't have any really great reference photos myself. So, uh, I, and I believe in using your own images. But what I did was I went to Google and I Googled images of poppies. And I pulled several different images offline. And what I'm going to do Got that one, and that one, and that one, and uh, that one. And my plan is to use maybe all of them. You know, I'm mostly looking for the shapes and uh, the anatomy of a poppy. So my design, um, they're all photos, they're not paintings, and photos are copyrighted, so you have to be careful. So I'm thinking. We're just I try to sketch some ideas, and um, I'm thinking there's one particular I really like. I'll show you here. I really like that poppy. So I think I'm going to try to put him in the area here, 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 here should be where your focal point is ideally. So I'm going to put him in here. And I'm thinking, too, that we're going to try to do most of this with palette knife. We'll see how that goes. I'm not opposed to, I've got my brushes, obviously I got one in my hand, but they're here and they're available to me if I, there's no rules, but I'd like to do the bulk of it with a palette knife, so we'll see how that goes. So we'll kind of just block in the shape of it here. not my favorite way to paint. I mean, I prefer to have um, a complete reference to work from. <coughs> so, uh, you know, we'll just see how it goes. Maybe a big old flop. So I'm looking around at different of these several images of uh, shapes that I like. I like this one because you can see into it. One here, that's, I have to remember which ones I chose, right? And I have to decide, this is again my thing, I mean I can put some green down in the bottom, which I'm thinking I will. Some of these have blue sky on the top. I'm not thinking that's what I'll do, but uh, we'll not get that far ahead of ourselves yet. And unless you do a whole mass of them, um, ideally you want to work with odd numbers. The eye likes odd numbers better, so we don't just want it like this. This wouldn't be good, just four. And, you know, with poppies, they have those um, cool little buds like that that hang over all different directions. Some of them are up. I mean, we don't have to explain everything here. We got four. There's five, and I may put that stem actually right in front of that flower, and then we'll throw some dabs of red in too that uh, you don't have to understand. We may have a bulb up here, we'll see. We'll see how that feels, you know, I don't want it to feel all centered either. We're having fun, and like I said, my plan is to do the bulk of this with a palette knife. I am not a palette knife painter, but I generally, in every painting I do, I get my palette knife in there some. It's fun, it's, you know. So I actually, so I didn't bore you completely, I did pre-mix some red and some oranges and uh, 
maybe not enough because we're again we're doing palette knives so um, let's start with our focal point they're really pretty puppy now one tricky thing about pulling different um, resources too is you don't have all the same lighting not the ideal way to paint I wouldn't recommend it if you're a beginner. But again, this guy, I'm, I'm planning on him being my focal point, so I'll consider him as I paint the others, you know, as far as light source and uh, and I want it to be loose and uh, Okay, with this one, it's a little difficult to tell where the light's coming from. I think we're going to kind of top lit, I think it is, which there's nothing wrong with that. And then the light hits a lot of different areas of the flower. on a hard panel here which for palette knife work I think a hard panel is really nice so I'm going to uh, I think pretty much assume my light source is coming from the right here again this is not the ideal way to paint get that really dark center in and poppies you know we'll be go we're going to be playing with these for a while but you know they got those sticky up things and actually they have a little bit of a I'm sure they're not all the same a little bit of a blue center bluish I don't want to go too light If you don't use a palette knife much, I mean, this is a fun thing to do, and uh, you need to, I, I think they're handy, even if you're not a palette knife painter. I mean, like I said, I almost always have my palette knife in there someplace. And I could have toned the background of this, and maybe I should have. We'll see. Mixed a little white in the orange. I want to uh, describe him a little bit better. But maybe that would help. Flowers are tricky. move on to the next one. Let's see if I can remember which guy I used for that one. I mean, it doesn't matter exactly. It's not like I'm trying to duplicate them exactly. And 
And you actually could start off with a brush and block them in and then come back and start laying on with a palette knife. And that wouldn't be a bad way to work either. You know, get the shape of them blocked in with a, with a brush. I find that if you're looking in the top, you see the dark, and if you're looking at the side of it, there's dark at the bottom of them. I love poppies. I need to try to grow them. You know, you don't. I don't see a lot of them anyway where I live. Keep moving here. I mean, we're doing, you know, kind of an abstract version of a poppy, so. You know, they sure don't have to be realistic. We're going to want to throw in color here and there. You can see I'm going through them pretty quick here because uh, I want them to be loose and impressionistic so I don't want to get too picky. Plus I'm sure we'll be coming back to them. I saw a painting on uh, YouTube years ago with this lady did a great big painting of poppies. I just thought about that. And she squirted paint out and then she used a broom. To, I mean, it was, it came out really very cool. It was a great big painting. She was an abstract artist. Um, I liked it a lot, actually. Hard to imagine without seeing it. I'm not sure how, if you wanted to see it, what you would look for. Let's throw some green in. Um, I mixed up a very dark green to start, and then we may go over this and uh, lighten it. They have pretty skinny little stems. I may have to move my iPad or I'm going to paint on it here. Move that a little bit. 
it that way. You know, and some of these, I guess, are little buds and... Uh, bringing him right over top of that one and that one. Okay, so let's kind of think about uh, maybe a little bit of foliage at the bottom here. You can tell I don't have a real definite plan here. And I'll, I'll want to, um, which I'm getting ahead of myself, but you know, we're going to want to brighten up the intensity of some of these stems too. You know, that's really stuff you do later on in the painting. And again, you know, we're going to have probably some of these seed pod things in there. All right, the leaves on poppies, they seem to be, you know, they're not on the little skinny stems. I'm looking for a foliage here. I don't know how much foliage there is. You know. But it really doesn't matter. I mean, we can this can just be they're growing out of the grass even, you know, it doesn't really matter. The idea is just to get some green in here. Like I said, and this could be um, you could have sky up here, do part of a blue and do the whole bottom green. I don't think that's what I'm going to do. I've got my rubber knife out here too, that one that I use. You've probably seen. Thought that might be handy too. I'll show it to you if you haven't seen it. It's called a Catalyst by Princeton. It's uh, like a flexible, I call it a palette knife. I don't know if you'd consider it that or not. They make all different sizes. way to tone this, which I kind of wish I had now. Um, then we'd have some color here under here. All right, I'm thinking I'm going to mix up kind of a neutral color. Blue sky is pretty too behind them though. Let's see, I'll show you that one, how pretty that is. So I'm kind of torn here. Just playing around, making a mixing all three primaries. And white. lighter. I'll throw some of it in though. We'll get 
get some on here and then we'll start cutting around these flowers. So I'm going to go back to the flowers and uh, consider the shape of them as I cut in around them. Go back to our star poppy there. But we'll probably have to um, come back into the poppy and pull edges back out. I expect to have to do that. And I wish I'd have toned the canvas, I think. Can you see the top? Let me move you up a little bit so you can see everything. Okay. I know I've done that before. Cut the top off. All right, we're looking at the shape of this poppy. And we're going to pick up red as we do this. Of course we are. paint over something it's no big deal we'll reintroduce it so I don't know we're just playing around having fun and uh, we'll see what we need as we let's just paint over that for now we'll see what we need as we go along so you can still see that red though and I like that so my goal is that you see a lot of texture in the background and uh, this one will take a while to dry though it's all right though my description box. I always say that. I'll put a link to my website if you want to go there and check out more of my work. I appreciate it. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, and uh, consider liking and subscribing. I'll be giving away a painting when we reach 500 subscribers again. I did that one time already. if I had toned this again I wouldn't be fighting all these little tiny areas make sure I covered everything some artists if you notice they don't necessarily cover their whole canvas you'll see a lot of white and uh, obviously it doesn't bother them I just feel like I need to cover it I don't know it's just me And those look fun with the palette knife. It's all gooey, ooey. You could do this with acrylics, but you'd, uh, you know, how quickly they set up. If you're an acrylic painter, you'd have to work pretty quick or put an extender in them maybe so they didn't dry so quick. Oils, I mean, this is going to stay wet for a long time and I can do whatever I want. nice thing about palette knives is you don't have any brushes to clean up. Wipe off your knife and you're done for the day. How nice is that?
I uh, had painted with different palette knife painters over the years, and uh, their work tends to be, not surprising, um, looser and impressionistic, and uh, I think it lends itself to that. But I have seen people use palette knives and do pretty perfect detailed stuff too. So. You know you're going to want to go paint with your palette knife after this, right? <laughs> well, hopefully I do inspire you to try some things you haven't or... I just, God, I just love painting everything, so as you see I jump all around and... I'm going to get this blocked in and then we'll take a look and see what we need. See if we need to clean up our poppies, if we need more green or, or more red, you know, maybe a suggestion of more poppies. I don't know. Reintroduce our stem. You know, for now I'm just trying to get it covered. edges are hard because I went around them. I feel like we need to suggest maybe some poppies that aren't there. This helps fill some of the holes too that we, um, the white sp spots that I didn't get covered too. rubber knife and uh, push some of this around and get this covered. The rubber knife is uh, just feels wonderful and it's nice you kind of paint right on the canvas with it. You can blend right on the canvas with it. Well, I 
to show you sometime. I did a big landscape. I have a larger version of this knife too, and I did a great big landscape, the whole thing with the knife one time. It was fun. See, it's pretty hard right there. I was thinking we could probably soften some edges with this guy too, right? Now we don't have any of the little um, hanging over pods like we talked about. Don't know if we want them. Let me see here. Mixing up a, a dark green. Suggesting them. Put a little stem on that guy. Just throwing little bits of red in here and there. You know, I don't want this arrangement to feel just um, completely centered, so I'm thinking about that. just working instinctively, I mean, because I don't really have a reference for most of this. So I've got some blue and the green and the, um, this is more of a green, I would say, the green and the red are, of course, complements for each other, which should make our puppies really pop. It's a very gray green because I mixed all the comp, I mean all my primaries in there. So it's a real gray green. Filling up my little <laughs> white spots, the, uh, I don't know, that bothers me. I think I'm going to um, hit a few of these, maybe with a little bit of an edge.
you know, explain the anatomy of them a little bit better that way. I think I'm going to quit there and uh, take some time to look at it. It's only been about 35 minutes. Let me stand up and look at it and see if anything really bugs me about it. It was quick and fun and loose. Let me get you in front of it and you can see it a little bit better. I'll take you in. I think, um, wait a minute, I see a, one little thing I think I want to do there. This dark color at the bottom. I feel like maybe I want to see that. Again, that's the only one you can see the center on. Mm, I think I like it. I think it's fresh and it's quick and uh, like an impressionistic view of the poppies. I'm blending some, again, I'm blending some of these little places where I see white canvas. I'm sure not an abstract painter. I obviously am a representational painter, but I know the advantages of being. I mean, a lot of designers when they're doing decorating homes will choose abstract work because it uh, it's all about color and shape, and it doesn't, you know, doesn't require a lot of thought. Not thought in the process. I don't mean that. I don't mean to be offensive, but it's, you know. People don't stand and study it a lot, and that's probably not true either. Anyway, you either are or you're not, and that's not where my interest lies. I, I like the challenge of being a representational painter. But this one kind of falls someplace in between. I think I, I like it. Hopefully you enjoyed watching. See, it's fun. And I threw a lot of bread out there to just suggest other maybe bits of poppy and uh, poppies and I think it's fun and fresh. I hope you enjoyed watching. Like and subscribe and hit the notification bell and that way you'll know if I upload a new uh, video. Thanks for joining me. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.